I'm Josh. This is Real Trees Deer Hunting Question of the Week. And this week, our question comes from Rick from North Carolina. Rick's question is, I have been granted permission to hunt private land that is all swamp. There are no fields within three miles of this land. How do I go about hunting deep in the swamp? Well, that's a solid topic right there, and we could talk all day long about hunting in the swamp land. But honestly, Rick, you've potentially landed yourself in a gold mine and most people probably wouldn't say that, but you have to think about it from a pressure standpoint. North Carolina gets a lot of deer pressure. There's a lot of deer hunters in North Carolina. So this, as we get deeper into the season, you know, middle of October, toward the end of October, those deer have been pressured. And as those deer get pressured, they're moving further away from where they're receiving that pressure. A lot of the times, they're going to wherever they can find the thickest, nastiest cover and swamp land is perfect for that. Figure out where deer are emerging from. Figure out what direction they're going to. Read the trails. If you can get in there and you can read the trail systems, figure out which way the deer are going, um, that's gonna tell you a lot about how the deer use the property. You've also gotta figure out what food sources the deer are keying on. Now, if there are no food sources, then you've gotta figure out what's around you. But if there are food sources, you've got to figure out what those are. Big swamp land, it's traditionally going to be a lot of mass crops. So if, if, if I were you, I would start scouting those, the system of trails very low key. You don't want to be too intrusive. Don't go in where you know deer are bedding at. Go around the edges of those bedding areas, read those trails, scout for the tracks. It also depends on what you want to do. If you're just wanting to fill a doe tag or get some meat for the freezer, I would scout the perimeters of that property and just see where the deer are coming out at. And uh, traditionally the way I would do that, it, without knowing the property, without of hunting it before, I would look to see where I see the most tracks. Now, if you're looking for a big deer and you want to try to go after a mature buck, you've got to think about it differently. You want to identify in that swamp, you want to figure out where that deer is bedding at. I look at high points. You know, where in the middle of that swamp, if you've got any high points, it's dry land, it's going to be big buck gold because that's where he's going to be bedding at. He's got water all the way around him, but he's on dry land and he can see predators coming from any direction. If you can find a nasty, really nasty thicket in the middle of a swamp that's got water on at least two sides of it, that's gonna be a very, very attractive spot to a mature buck. The key is to get in those swamps, figure out where the deer are bedding at, figure out what food sources they're keying on, then connecting the dots. That's this week's deer hunting question of the week. Come back next week. We'll see you right here.